and we just got about another four inches of snow. So snowshoeing it is. Saturday, it was 70 degrees. Monday, today, there's four inches of snow on the ground. Oh, Colorado, you so silly. Just a beautiful Monday. <laughs> Getting ready for the Continental Divide. This is deep up here. I'm not post holing because snowshoes, but I'm seeking in a good four or five inches with each step. Good workout though. So I think I'll do one more video before we leave for New Mexico. The other one that I just finished is gonna go up today. And then this one will go up just before I leave for New Mexico. And then everything from there will be shorter updates from the trail and then saving footage for after I get back. This week's basically just getting the house ready, getting all my stuff packed up. Not particularly interesting, but necessary. All right, later. Another beautiful spring day in Colorado. <laughs> and yeah, just finalizing some stuff at the house. So pretty much everything's packed and gone. And yeah, close on the 31st, so six days. Just enjoying the weather. <laughs> Almost done at the house. Luna went back up to Denver with Tana yesterday. So the house is very quiet now. Donated a bunch of the furniture today, so that's all gone. And the house is basically empty other than the stuff that is staying for the new owners. Alright, well, I'm going to keep walking. <laughs> and I will catch in with you later. Hi ladies, just walking along. <laughs> Lots of little babies. Well, it's not snowing anymore. <laughs> there is snow on the ground, but beautiful little hike. And I'm gonna go back and pretty much finish packing the house. Tomorrow will be the last day that I probably spend the night in the house. Actually, that's not true. Tonight will be the first, probably the last time that I spend the night in the house. Just getting my exercise in before I go back and keep plowing away at house stuff. All right, later. What are we doing, Matt? <laughs> We're gonna go right down the middle, <laughs> but there's some object obstructing it. Like a nail or something? Um, so, let's just cut some pieces and see what happens. Yeah. If we need Stop to, we can, well, you, well, it might have a metal, like, backbone or something. But what we can do is, once you get it scored, we can also crack it. That's good. But yeah, so this, this couch is no longer going up the stairs in one piece. It yeah. barely came down the stairs in one piece. <laughs> Question at this point is, will it be two or more pieces? Probably sure. more. Yeah. <laughs> What's what's the couch's new name, Matt? Murder couch. And why is that? Because if you're not careful, it'll kill you. <laughs> Everything on this couch is pointed and sticky. But we got it to the point where now we can probably get it up the stairs without a whole lot of difficulty. Hello. So Hiking out here on the Santa Fe Trail, which then runs along the Front Range, just because I'm not in my house anymore. So yesterday closed on the house, and it is the first official day of me being both homeless and jobless. <laughs> so I am officially hiker trash from here until I finish. But staying with the family until we leave for the Continental Divide Trail, so about two weeks. And just doing another training hike. April was a really bad month when I was in the military. Today, back in 2016, was when James committed suicide. 
The seventh is when we lost Smith. The 14th is when we lost Richard. And the 28th was one of the major attacks on our base in 2008 that killed three and wounded 15 or so. And that just kind of kicks off a lot of stuff that happened when I was in the military. So it's a heavy month. April's rough. Just getting some training in. Run about 10 miles today. 12 days till we head down to Lordsburg. We should start on about the 15th. And it'll be heading north from there. So we're getting close. It's getting real. And beautiful day out. I haven't been hiking the last couple of days because it's been snowing. It was a high of 28 yesterday. <laughs> Still be in Colorado, but we'll get there. But just wanted to let you know what was going on. As ready as I guess I can be. I would like to be a little bit more physically prepared for the trip, but you know, that's what New Mexico's for. <laughs> hey, just gotta take it as it comes, right? You can't tell that's at the Air Force Academy and Pikes Peak right there. Hey. But yeah, I'm hiking along the edge of the Air Force Academy, so everything this way is the Air Force Academy. That's pretty much all I've got going on right now. It's it's basically just a countdown to leaving. I'm gonna be trying to hike every day that I can and uh, yeah, enjoy homelessness. <laughs> Later. Time for shot number two. <laughs> I'm here at a vacant lot because apparently they're doing this here instead of in the VA because I guess they rent the space or something, I don't know, but it's April 9th and it's time to get fully vaccinated. Let's go. Good afternoon. Oh, my shoulder's sore. I got my second COVID vaccination yesterday and I'm feeling it. <laughs> my whole body's sore. Um, my shoulder, especially where I got it, is sore, but I am just finishing up packing. That's basically, well, some of that's not coming with me, but that's my corner of stuff that's coming with me. This is my corner of stuff, which may get mailed to me later on if I need some of it. Everything else is basically in storage, which is out here. I'm not at my parents' house. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I just wish I wasn't feeling like crap. Just this, there we go. Here's where all of my stuff lives. Here's the bike. <laughs> With its own little corner. And then back here is everything I own. That is basically all of my worldly possessions in one corner. I have one more planned hike tomorrow. If I'm feeling up to it, I am quite sore <laughs> and then we leave Monday morning to head to Lordsburg and meet up with everybody I will be on the trail starting the 15th so we have one training day and yeah then we get going so the six of us at least all right well this camera's heavy I'm fully vaccinated homeless unemployed and pretty much thrilled by the entire prospect of it <laughs> so we're gonna go do this later all right last training hike before the CDT leave tomorrow for Lordsburg pick up Kyle on the way and uh, it's off for the races though it's more of a marathon than a sprint <laughs> I'm just out here doing a big loop on Garden of the Gods. All right, you got to see the big horns. Got to see some wolves, wolf dogs. There's an adventure experience group that lets you come out here and walk um, some wolves. They're high percentage wolf hybrids, whatever, they're wolves. They look like wolves. <laughs> So, got to see those guys. That was pretty neat. So today is the 11th. I found out on the 9th that Jake Mullins, one of the engineers that I served with, was killed in a car accident on the 7th, along with his father. And of course, it had to be on the anniversary of Tim's death. 
just to make April suck even more. I'm gonna include a link in the description of the video to a fund for his kids. He has two young children, which they're raising money for their education. So check that out. So yeah, just another reason to get out on the trail and get away from life. This will be the last video that goes out before I'm on the trail. I expect I'll upload this so that it goes live on the 15th, which is the first day that we'll actually be on the trail. And from there, everything will be updated in shorter clips from the actual hike. So don't look for any longer videos for the next several months because there won't be any. I will update periodically, especially on Instagram, and let you know kind of what's going on with me and how the hike is treating me. That's going to be the final sign off for me until I see you when I get back. Later.